What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys and today I have a review of the Spin Masters How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World Toothless. Alright my zillions got what should be a pretty easy review here. Uh, to start the week, the How to Train Your Dragons 3 Toothless. I wanted to get a Toothless for quite a bit. Um, and honestly, this is probably a Toothless. It'll probably end up with Ultra Zola Jr. at some point. It's it's more geared for kids. And I think he'll really like this. He, he likes Toothless. Uh, he doesn't have an actual figure figure of him. He's got a big plush. Um, but I wanted to review this because, again, I wanted one, and I've wanted, like, you know, a more high-end one to come out. But if there was one to get uh, for me from, uh, I, I don't know, has Spin Master done all the toys? I'm not 100% sure. I've never really looked into that too far. Um, but I've every time I've seen the toys from the previous movies, it was just like too much stuff on it. It was too big. I just didn't care. But I saw this figure at Target. Um, seriously, just going in to, to buy some some milk, <laughs> and uh, this time and there some organic milk. That's why I get my uh, organic milk from at points. Um, it's cheap. <laughs> But there he was, sitting there, and I had seen some of the other uh, dragons from the movie in this line, but I had not seen Toothless in store, so I saw him, I was like, hmm, ten bucks for this, uh, he doesn't have a saddle, he's a nice little size, yeah, this is a Toothless I'm gonna get for now, for myself, you know, maybe put it in my collection, I'll just give it to Ultra Zola Jr., uh, and if they come out with, like, something else down the line, I'll, uh... I'll replace mine, but this is a cool a little toothless, so let's get to it. All right, let's start off with the articulation here, because like I said, it's a pretty basic figure. You have head swivel, you have swivel at the all four leg joints, nothing really in the tail. I mean, it can move just a, a tad. It's not a, really an articulation point though that I can tell, and then, you have these hinged wings here. So there you go. Not a ton of articulation for Toothless. I would have pref I would have liked like a jaw would have been cool. Um, again, the tail would have been nice. Uh, maybe some extra articulation I mean the knees. Um, but again, it's a simple basic figure. So you're gonna expect that. All right, so let's check out Toothless here. It's kind of a little hard to light. <laughs> Gotta get a little extra light going here because it's a uh, figure done all in black. So there you go. No paint on the body whatsoever, just black plastic throughout. You get a little bit of a matte plastic and a little bit of more shiny plastic for the limbs. Um, yeah, I wish that was a little different, but it's a little bit of a different plastic on those. So there's that. You do get big green eyes here. Uh, nice green, I, th I think it's Tampo printed. It could be a sticker. No, I think it's Tampo printed. And uh, it's done well, they're both done well. So nice, uh, nice job there. I think they look good. And then, oop, I made it darker. Does that look better? That might look better actually. Um, yeah, let's stick with that. I, the glare was too much. Uh, and now, the sculpt, it's its soft, but it works. I mean, it is, it is, you know, a CGI cartoon dragon. Um, so there's that part of it. But it does come off as more of a 2D uh, dragon. But the look is good, I think. The head sculpt overall looks decent enough. The mouth, again, I wish the mouth was articulated. That would have been nice. But overall, I think it's a nice head sculpt. You know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the body... You know, has the scaling, you get more scaling on the legs than you do on the actual body. I wish that wasn't the case, but it's true, it's true. Um, you do get more scaling there. I like the little spikies on the back here. That looks cool. The nails look good. It's in a nice pose. It's in a, you know, kind of a, you know, moving forward attack pose with, like, legs splayed out on one side and more inside on the other. So you got them in a cool pose to start out. I dig that a lot. The wings look good. Uh, nice leathery look to them. I think they turned out very, very nice. Um, but 
you know, you do have this like ugly looking hinge here on both sides. Feel like they could have done that a little bit better um, because I feel like that's like the one thing as far as the look goes. It's eh, it's actually worse on. It's actually not that bad here now that I'm looking at it uh, because they did sculpt out to this part here. Um, but on this side, and they did sculpt out over here, it just ends up looking blah. <laughs> like he just has wings attached to him and it's not naturally part of him. Um, so I feel like that could have been a little bit better done. You do have a couple of screw holes on this side too. You can fill that up with some putty and I and just paint it over. Actually, I think I might do that. That might be an easy, easy thing to do. So I, I'm probably gonna do that, fill up those. Um, and then the tail looks very nice, actually. I wish it moved. Um, again, you can't move it ever so slightly, but kind of goes back. Oh, wait, wait a second. I did move it a little more just now. I guess that's an articulation point. So, you know, forget what I said before. It's tight, but it, it does move. It does move a lot more than I originally said. So there you go, extra articulation point uh, there. Uh, but otherwise, I, I do think the tail looks rather good. You can see, I wish this was done in color because you can see that, you know, the tail is attached here. Um, so yeah, I, it would have been nice if that part of it was at least colored. Um, but yeah, this is cool. And what I do like about it is no saddle or anything. So you do get a nice plain toothless, which is what I've wanted, you know, as a guy that likes to collect, you know, the giant monsters and stuff, um, a representation of toothless, who I think is a really cool dragon, uh, would be awesome. So yeah, I do dig the look though. Um, I think it works. You know, until there is a better option, I think this is this this might do it for me as a as a toothless representation. For your size comparisons, here he is with the Godzilla 62s, a couple of Kongs, a couple of Ultraman, and a couple of robots. Final thoughts: I think this is a perfectly fine. If you could see toothless here, uh, um, a perfectly fine toothless at a budget cost. I, I do dig it uh, from everything I've seen of all the figures that have been out from all three movies. This is definitely my favorite one, and one for folks of the like one twelve scale of action figure. This one really, really fits in perfectly. So there you go, guys. Gonna keep my opinion super short and sweet. And that's it. I do, really do like it. Nice job on Spin Master's part. Little parts could be a better, but that's the collector in me, and this is really just a kid's toy. I think my son will really, really like this when I do eventually give it to him. Um, but for now, he could stick around down here in my collection and get in some, uh, some comparison videos and whatnot. So, there you go. Really nice little toothless. Ten bucks. You can't go wrong. So, hope you dug it. That's my review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.